what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be the recap for the last of us season one episode one the episode title is when you're lost in the darkness so the series opens in 1968 i believe with a pair of doctors discussing pandemics live on a tv show broadcast on the abc network Dr. Newman is one of the doctors and he discusses the dangers of fungi and how they seek to control, not kill. We then jump to the year 2003 and are introduced to a teen or preteen girl named Sarah and her family. She's just woken up and is making breakfast for her father, Joel, since it is his birthday. Sarah is getting ready to go to school, but goes upstairs to grab money and her watch. Uh, and a watch that's in her drawer, I meant to say. Uncle Tommy is driving them, who is Uncle Tommy, who is living with them both, is driving them both to school and work wherever they need to go. And we are told that all three of them are located in Austin, Texas. After school, Sarah stops at a local shop to have Joel's watch fixed. And outside, we see a cop car and a fire truck speed by. The owners of the shop rush her out, saying they are closed. Sarah goes to visit her neighbor, Miss Adler, and asks if everything is okay because the news has been causing her to be concerned. Sarah takes a break from doing her homework to look around Miss Adler's house. Miss Adler's mother begins doing a weird contortion behind Sarah, but Sarah doesn't notice anything weird until the dog begins acting strange around the old lady. Sarah just brushes it off and heads home to Joel. Sarah gives Joel the watch as his birthday gift and the two share a sweet moment before watching a movie. Joel gets a phone call and answers it and it's Tommy saying he's in jail and needs to be bailed out after a bar fight. Sarah is taken to bed for the night but wakes up to dogs barking and helicopters flying above the house. Joel is nowhere to be found, presumably going after Tommy, of course, to bail him out. Sarah turns the TV on to discover a TV alert stay, telling her to stay inside the house, saying stay indoors. She does not follow this order and Sarah ends up going outside to investigate what's going on after a dog named Mercy comes up to her window. Uh, she decides to take Mercy home because this again is the Atler's dog, but the dog runs away and is refusing to go back to that house. Now, she goes inside of the Adler's house after Mercy runs away from her to check on Mrs. Adler. Inside the house, she finds Mrs. Adler's mother feeding on her, and she seems to have mutated into some new creature that's clearly not normal human activity. Joel ends up having to kill this old lady to protect Sarah. Tommy, Joel, and Sarah drive off and discuss that the news is saying there's a virus going around. Forms of communication are apparently down as well. The trio end up having to drive through a crowd of people in town, but a plane falling to the falling to the streets ends up crashing and exploding and causes them to crash their truck. Tommy tells Joel and Sarah to head to the river after they, after they all have regained consciousness. He says that he'll catch up with them. Joel ends up coming across multiple infected people mutating and is chased by one into a diner with Sarah in his arms. A trooper ends up saving them but then tries to kill them under orders and Sarah is shot before Tommy is able to kill the trooper. Joel tries to save Sarah but she dies from her wound unfortunately which leaves Joel in a very distraught mood of course. We then jump to 20 years later we're now in the year 2023 and are shown a child wandering through the woods searching for civilization and is revealed we are now in Boston, Massachusetts. Cities are destroyed, we have quarantine zones run by a group named Fedra and life as we knew it is completely different. The child is taken in by the group known as Fedra. Or troops armed forces whatever you want to call them at this point we catch back up with joel who has managed to survive this long in between the 20 years that have passed he is in line to be assigned a job in order to make money we meet a woman named tess being interrogated by a man named robert the room explodes during the interrogation and tess escapes to the surface fedra and the fireflies a group that oppose uh fedra are having a shootout in the midst of all this we are introduced to a girl chained up in a room named Veronica at the time. We, of course, know this is Ellie. A man and woman come in asking her to state her name and count to 10 before leaving the room. Joel is looking for Tommy, who hasn't responded in three weeks. Joel goes home for the day and gets intoxicated before passing out. Tess comes in and lays next to him, so we know that these two are clearly together in some capacity. In the morning, Tess explains her injuries to Joel and talks about Robert. We then meet Marlene, a leader of the Fireflies, who is the one holding Veronica hostage, who we come to know as Ellie. Of course, that again is Ellie. Marlene lays out her plan against Fedra during the sequence. We then jump back to Joel and Tess, who are shown discussing going after the man named Robert, an arms dealer who owes them, so they want to get payback as a result of this. Marlene goes to visit Ellie, but Ellie is cold towards her at first until she unchains her. Marlene reveals that she knows that her real name is actually Ellie and not Veronica. She says Ellie can't go home because she has a greater purpose. Tess and Joel go into a tunnel with flashlights and guns. They make their way to a door that has blood coming from under and on the other side is a hallway of dead bodies. 
Joel comes across Marlene and Ellie tries to attack him, but fails. Marlene tells Joel and Tess to take care of Ellie in exchange for supplies. They agree and Marlene tells Joel not to mess this up before they before they before they leave of course with ellie to complete the task joel and ellie hang out briefly after he takes a nap and wakes up in the apartment ellie tells joel he mumbles in his sleep while she observes the outside from a window tess comes in telling them it's time to go fedra are shown patrolling the streets tess joel and ellie sneak around fedra they get caught but ellie attacks the fedra troop joel ends up killing him in response by punching him to death now this sequence i found to be very interesting because he's having flashbacks of his own daughter and the things he could have done differently to protect Sarah during this instance because it's something that's clearly just causing him to have a bad memory of the time where he had this same occurrence happen and he he did nothing when he could have did what he just did now so it seems as though in this moment he's making up for what he should have done to protect Sarah in an effort to now protect Ellie after Ellie of course causes this by attacking the man then we get Tess who comes to think that Ellie is in Affected after her test reads negative but ellie tells them that she isn't and the three continue to make their move the episode ends with that uh with like a shot of the uh destruct destroyed location that they're in the quarantine zone so i will say this this is a great start to the show it is very well acted the writing is strong for the most part the characters are all coming to life in the best way possible for me i'm loving the production design i'm loving the visual effects involved i'm loving how how emotionally driven it gets at times especially when sarah dies i love that i'm loving pedro pascal and how he's bringing the character of joel to life um all in all, so far, this is a worthy adaptation of this game. One of the most popular games that I recall from high school. I haven't played it in many years, but just everything about this first episode made me very nostalgic, makes me want to go play that video game again, and makes me eager to go into episode two. I have not seen episode two. I plan to do weekly recaps on this channel. I will have the recaps pending on the channel before the episodes air. Uh, so you guys, if you are wanting to hear recaps from me about The Last of Us, you are going to get that going forward. I hope you enjoyed episode one of The Last of Us. If you find that I left stuff out, that was on purpose. This episode was over an hour and 25 minutes. It's basically the length of a movie. I was not going to include everything. But you guys can let me know again what you thought about the pilot episode down in the comments section below what do you think about the last of us in general let me know as well down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video